Participation in clinical trials is especially critical in pediatric cancer. Uh, pediatric cancer is incredibly rare. There's only about 16,000 cases per year. And it's only through collaborative efforts, you know, all the centers coming together to enroll children on clinical trials, have we had the tremendous advances in our field, you know, resulting from uh, diseases three or four decades ago that were incurable to today, where the cure rate uh, at five years is in excess of 75%. So it's important that children be enrolled on these trials so that we can begin to integrate these new drugs and also get rid of many of the older drugs that do have long-term toxicity. The long-term side effects of our treatments are particularly important in pediatric patients with cancer. Um, unlike adults, where they may be happy to have another 10 or 20 years to live to age 80 or 90, with children, we're looking at a whole lifetime ahead of them. And that many of the side effects of our traditional chemotherapy agents or radiation treatments will start to set in after 20, 30 years uh, and leads to accelerated aging. So you have you know, young people in their 30s, 40s having heart attacks or having strokes or other complications as a result of their treatment for the cancer that they had as a young child. Our limitation these days is actually some of the funding cuts you know, to government agencies like the National Cancer Institute so that we can't fund as many trials as we would like. There definitely is uh, not enough funding you know, to go around to support the really critical need for more research, particularly in childhood cancer. You know, grants that are submitted to the National Cancer Institute, you know, less than 10% of them are being funded. I think what people sometimes lose sight of is that despite childhood cancer being relatively rare, uh, because these young people have a whole lifetime ahead of them, that you know, when you lose a child to cancer, it has a significant impact on our productivity. Uh, for example, I, a lot of my work is in Hodgkin lymphoma. And Hodgkin lymphoma is one of the most curable cancers. You know, at, at five years, the survival rate is 98%. However, uh, these young people are very susceptible to the long-term complications of the chemotherapy and the radiation that we use. And so when you factor in the lost productivity uh, from premature loss of life, from chronic health conditions, turns out that Hodgkin lymphoma uh, accounts for the second greatest hit to economic productivity to society as a whole. So you can't just look at the small numbers uh, in childhood cancer, but really look at its impact you know, to our society, to our community, and therefore the investment in childhood cancer research is going to have a significant return on investment. The OmniSeq uh, testing platform that was developed here um, is going to be used as one of the tests for the, the National Pediatric Match Trial, which um, identifies mutations in childhood cancers and, and links them to uh, targeted agents. So we you know, are fortunate through uh, funding from the Alliance Foundation that we're starting a pilot project and beginning to offer that test to children with solid tumors. Um, so we're really on the cutting edge of this, and I think the Moonshot is going to help to elevate um, the importance of this you know, through some of the national research efforts. Our patients really do have significant needs in the long term, and so it's important that we not lose sight of those short-term goals, but really look at the, the whole picture and make sure that our patients are not only surviving, but that their health is intact.